photographer Olaf Otto Becker doesn't always keep a safe distance from his subjects. Sometimes he ventures dangerously close. Like here at the Guifoss waterfall, one of Iceland's best-loved natural spectacles. It's been photographed so often that I wondered what else I could do. So I went for a close-up to show it from a new and different perspective. The Gullfoss is such an important part of Iceland that it just had to be in my book. His new book, Under the Nordic Light, is his second on Iceland. To create the images, the photographer visited the island for weeks at a time. The light in the north fascinates me. In some parts of the summer, it's light 24 hours a day. I took a lot of pictures at night, in the nighttime light. As a photographer, light is very important to me. It's often more important than the subject itself. Becca doesn't just capture the beauty and rawness of the landscape. He documents the influence of humans on nature. Some of the new photographs feature the same subjects as the first volume, but 12 years on. The comparison can reveal surprising continuities, as well as shocking change, like in this glacier. I expected some change, of course, but I didn't expect it to be so drastic. It is quite shocking. Olaf Otto Becker also captured the transformation of nature in his two volumes on Greenland. For Broken Line, the Munich-based photographer traveled 4,000 miles along the coast of Greenland in 2003 and 2006, all alone in a small rubber dinghy. One year later, he set out with another Arctic explorer to Greenland's icy interior. His main subject this time was rivers flowing in the ice. At first I was a painter. I did that for a long time, quite intensively. Then I realized I actually didn't want to invent anything to paint. I wanted to discover my images, not invent them. And photography is better suited to that than anything else. Whether on glaciers or back in Munich, Olaf Otto Becker takes his photos with a plate camera. It's a lot heavier than a digital camera, but the large 8x10 inch negatives are perfect for brilliant large format prints. The camera has two advantages. One is the high resolution you get with the large negative format, and the camera is very reliable. Whether it's raining, minus 20 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees plus, the camera always works. Becker uses a high-resolution drum scanner to digitize his negatives. Then he processes them, touching them up and correcting the colors. He spends about a day on each image. And his perfectionism doesn't end after he's delivered the photographs to the printer. Sometimes I even go to the printing press and stand there while they print. That can take 36 hours for a book until all the pages have gone through. I'll stand there the entire 36 hours and look at the results. This sense of precision is evident in the new Iceland volume, which features exceptional panoramic views. He visited this spot at the same time of the year in 2002 and again in 2011. Nine years separate the image on the left from the one on the right. At first glance, you'd think I just panned over with my camera for a second shot. From the picture frames to the large format prints, Olaf Otto Becker prefers to do everything himself. Preparations are underway for an exhibition of his new Icelandic images. And the first test print, of course, is the Guifas waterfall.